Marvel just graced us with a poster for Spider-Man No Way Home, a film that comes out in a little over a month. They're really keeping things tight-lipped, but I think we can get something. I think we can glean something from the poster here. Let's take a look. For starters, I just want to point out... Oh, hang on. Tom Holland just texted me. We're, we're really close friends. That's a good point, Tom. He's saying that you should subscribe to Adam Does Movies for future poster breakdowns, movie conversation, reviews, blah, blah, blah. What a great guy Tom Holland is. Let's talk about him in this poster. I mean, he's not in it. It's, it's just a CG suit, but we'll go on. First impressions, I don't really like it. It's not doing a lot for me visually. I think it's kind of an ugly, grimy looking poster. But upon further inspection, this poster is not meant to be hung up in your room. No, it's meant to be studied. Let's see what we can get. Front and center, of course, are Doc Ock's tentacles, ready to take out Peter Parker, but that's not the only obstacle he's dealing with here, is it? No, for us trained fans out there, we can see there's lightning clearly striking in the distance. It's acting as a barrier as it moves around the side of him saying, you're gonna have to deal with one of us one way or the other, either Doc Ock or me, Electro. Remember Jamie Lee Fox as Electro in, in Amazing Spider-Man 2? The uh, critically acclaimed cinematic darling Amazing Spider-Man 2? He's back, baby. They're all back. If the tentacle anime and lightning bolts in the background aren't enough for Parker, he also has to deal with sand. Now, if Anakin Skywalker were here, it's game over. We know how much he hates this stuff. But for Peter Parker, Sandman, I think he could take him down. If we punch in a little bit more and dolly over to the sand here, cradle in on what these particles are, it almost makes out a face. The human eye is a tricky, wonderful thing, though. We look for patterns in a lot of things. We look for faces, things we recognize. So when I look at the sand, I can see a side profile of the Sandman himself. It's kind of cool. I don't know if it's intentional, it's probably not, but I'm seeing it there, which means it's it's legit. What a challenge. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you, oh my God, there's the Green Goblin. He didn't skirt away without me noticing that hoverboard flying through the sky like an angelic being, ready to take on the day. Ready to throw some of those pumpkin spice lattes right at our hero. I'm sure a bunch of other outlets have already touched upon all of these elements of the poster, but did they talk about the thing going on down below? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's zoom in. Let's enhance. Venom himself ready to fight. Is he gonna be good? Is he gonna be bad? I don't know. It's anybody, what, Sheila? That's not Venom? It's just a smoldering pile of ash? Well then you can understand why I was confused and thought that was Venom, because those movies are smoldering piles of shit. We'll also notice a little tag at the bottom that says exclusively in theaters, letting people know, letting the audience know that this isn't a Disney Plus thing. We're not going to be having Tom Holland suing Disney over the rights to some of the revenue. The MCU Spider-Man movies have had pretty atrocious posters, so sadly this is one of the better ones coming out. At least there's a little creativity here with all the different elements, all the bad guys really crunching Spider-Man in. They're really housing him into this centralized location. The poster's telling the audience there's a lot going on in this film. Spider-Man has his hands full. He's got a lot of different guys to deal with and they're all really weighing down on him. He could use some help, possibly from some other Spider-Man. Let's see if they're in this poster. Let's just graze along the battlefield. No. Nope. Now that's Shrek, okay. That was, I mean, we confirmed that pretty early on. There's OP Shaggy. He'll certainly help in a pinch. Just really looking for Bully Maguire in this thing, and I'm unfortunately not seeing him. I want him to put some dirt in their eye but maybe for a different poster after the movie releases and we have a chance to experience some of the secrets, some of the mysteries for ourselves. Do I think this movie's gonna be good? It certainly has the opportunity to be such. I think it could be bad. Yeah, I do. I think that the last Spider-Man movie wasn't very good. Uh, I, I don't have the highest of hopes, even though there's a lot of potential for a very impressive film. I haven't been wowed by the trailers yet, but we'll see. This poster, it does its job, it gets people curious, it gets people a little excited, and it does tell people what to expect from the film without giving much away at all. I don't like the emotion blur effect they're doing with those tentacles, especially down by the foot. It's not covering the foot enough for me to know that, okay, it's in front of Spider-Man. It looks like Spider-Man's foot's like resting on it. Uh, it just, it's not a good look for me. All right, I'd love to hear from you now. Give me your thoughts on the poster and your excitement level for Spider-Man No Way Home. Do you think this thing does the movie justice? Do you think it was just kind of an afterthought thrown together to get people to shut up about Eternals? And again, please subscribe to the channel. I put out a lot of content. Like the video if you, if you liked the video. And tell your friends. And maybe even your mom.
she might be into this kind of thing. I don't know. And if you are a mom, let me know in the comments as well. Shout out to moms out there for no reason at all. Just because they've earned it. That's the reason. All right, where am I going with it? All right, bye. Goodbye. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Wow, that certainly turned into a rambling mess of nothing, didn't it, moms? Thank you again for watching, and I encourage you to join me on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or right here via the join button. Uh, and you can uh, say, you know what, Adam, this is a great show you're doing. Here's a dollar a month. Keep it up. Or five dollars, or whatever you want to give. It just, it goes to a good cause. Me, me making videos. That's, that's the cause. So maybe not good, but it's a cause.